Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day, whatever this is. I have lost track. Today, I'm not sure if you guys will get to see the vlog I made yesterday, but I told you guys that I'm gonna start talking a little bit more about like health and wellness when you feel like you don't have a lot of time as a mom. Um, this is an area where I'm absolutely a student, so I'm just trying to really focus on my habits in that area. I feel like I keep trying to, and if there's any area in my life where I need a breakthrough, like the one I got when I started the Fly Lady system, this is the next area of my life where I need a breakthrough. I need like an approach to health and wellness that I can actually stick with. And so um, I have some habits here that I'm going to be tracking this week. The first is I'm gonna be tracking my water intake and trying to meet a specific water intake goal every day. My next goal is um, I want to try to hit a certain number of steps on my Fitbit. I'm not sure what that number is going to be, honestly. It's either hit the steps or work out or go for a walk. Like, I'll just take some combination of that. So just thinking about and being mindful about moving my body, basically. And then I'm just going to give myself all the grace on that since I am restarting. And then the last thing is I am... I re I'm a huge fan of Weight Watchers. I've had a lot of success on the program in the past, um, but I'm not gonna just dive in head first. This time I want to start slow, so I figured a way to kind of get myself into the habit again is to just track one mil or ensure that at least one mil is tracked. So I'm gonna be making sure that I start the day off with um, a healthy filling breakfast. So those are my tiny habits. I was listening to a podcast this morning and it made me think about two things. Number one, I wrote it down here on my little planner sheet. Habits are not meant to create massive resistance. Like if your habit is so hard that you just really don't wanna do it, that means it's probably too complicated and you can benefit from simplifying it or scaling it down or making it easier. So. I took that into consideration this morning when I was thinking about the water goal um, on Weight Watchers. If you get like 60 something ounces of water a day, then you get like rewarded for that. You get a point. And I was like, you know what? Let's, oh, and the whole thesis of the podcast episode was to figure out like where that point is, where it's not creating a ton of resistance for you. And then when you're showing up to do that routine, challenge yourself to stretch just a little tiny bit and see if you can do that and expand your capacity over time. So I was really inspired by that and I was just like, this is something that I already know. I have read Tiny Habits, I believe in Atomic Habits and it's like sometimes you just need to be reminded. And like on my channel sometimes I feel like I'm talking about the same thing over and over again and I'm like, are people gonna get bored? And I'm like, I benefit from being reminded. Like I have totally feel inspired and then like time goes by and I start to forget or I start to go back to my old ways. And then I have someone or I listen to a podcast of someone who, you know, is doing the things that I want to do in my life and they remind you and you're like, yeah, like you, you're totally right. Thank you for reminding me of that. So I'm going to, I guess, start sounding very repetitive on my channel because I, I know, hello, What's up? nothing, just vlogging. I know that I benefit from reminders. And so, um, yeah, that makes me feel more at ease about repeating myself and saying the same thing over and over and over again to you guys, because I know you guys benefit from that as well. So, now that we've had this long four minute introduction, let's go ahead and start the work day. So as we're making our way upstairs, I want you guys to observe the house was I, you know, it ain't great. But it ain't horrible either, okay? I started the dishes. I had a couple trickle in throughout the morning. That's fine. Um, the I had some laundry that needed to be put away. I put most of it away. There's like a little bit left. I need to wash my boys' clothes. So I think that whenever I wash their clothes, the remaining items are things that need to be taken upstairs. So I'll send all that up at one time. The bed is semi-made. And the hot spots are for the most part picked up. So basically what I'm trying to say is like, I've gotten my routine as done as it's gonna get. I will revisit it later on today. Um, and it's okay like if you do this stuff imperfectly because you know when I come back, it's going to be so much easier for me to complete rather than to feel, feel like I can't finish, therefore I shall not start at all. You know, and I, so um, 
I do that often like I'll just just do what I can knowing that I'll come back so that is the condition of the house um, I told you guys in yesterday's update that uh, I will be alternating I will not be doing weekly home blessing and zone cleaning in the same day anymore to create capacity for me to be thinking about like my health stuff that's the goal so um, today I'm gonna focus on zone cleaning I'm gonna experiment with a couple of different approaches and see which one I like better if I like alternating better or if I want to focus on one during the week and then hit the other one over the weekend I'm not sure yet I'm gonna play with that but today I'm just gonna try to alternate so today's a zone cleaning day we're gonna be hitting up the master bedroom I think I'm going to I feel like I've been working in my closet and like I feel like I need a break from the closet I think I'm gonna work in my drawers today you know I'd be seeing people with their little cute organized drawers and stuff and I honestly sometimes I don't feel like I care that much but you know it would be cute to have it looking all cute and organized and things folded the same direction so I think I'm gonna try to go for that today that's the goal so anyway let me go upstairs oh and by the way I totally didn't tell you guys about my water goal this is what we're doing okay I in order for me to get a point I need to like be up here but I that it's doable when you kind of break it up throughout the day but I was like okay well habits are not meant to be to create a lot of resistance so that creates like zero resistance for me so I'm gonna do that today maybe tomorrow double it and just like work my way up so anyway I forgot to mention that hello checking in it's 10 42 and I'm going to take a short little break I've been working on some like branding related stuff which is always super fun just like understanding right now the tool that we're using is archetypes and it's just like how brands can go from feeling like a cold business to feeling like more human and more recognizable so it's like cool to like dissect it and then go see what the major brands are doing and like understanding oh like that's why they put that on their website or that's why these pictures look like this or that's why they said that and then thinking about like how do we apply it to some of our like small business companies so that's like one of my favorite things to do and that's what i've been working on this morning i'm gonna take a break to do some home stuff um, I have like a little block schedule that I'll be kind of following along with today so I'm like right on track so I have kind of like 15 minutes before my next block starts so I think that I will go ahead and get my hardest home management task for the day done which is my zone cleaning and then I'm going going to um, come right back and get back into work the boys have to go to the doctor today they will be getting their COVID vaccinations so um i need to make sure that like i'm on, on point today with like work stuff so that i can take that time for my lunch break and get back and make sure that like i don't miss a beat so hello welcome to a new part of my master bedroom i feel like y'all are always up in my closet and it's horrible in there today we're gonna work on dressers um i'm just gonna do as much as i can in 15 minutes Brought my phone y'all know how i do i'm gonna find a podcast or something to listen to um today my main goal is going to be looking for clothes that i want to declutter and um that's actually the most important thing that i can do but if i can like you know fold stuff and make it look pretty that would be nice as well but that's not like my main priority because i know it's all gonna get jumbled up and messed up anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and start
I was going through this process, I realized, I don't know if this was the best idea, you know, like your drawers are a very like personal place. So um, there are two drawers where I put like all my, you know, like things I'm not trying to showcase on the internet. I'm gonna have to go through those myself at a different time you know, not put all my business on the internet, but um, I was able to work through a lot of other drawers. Over there are things that I'm going to declutter. Let me see if I can get my angles right, there we go. Um, those are clothes that either they're just not in good quality anymore, they don't fit the way they're supposed to fit, or maybe I love them, but it's just not like reflective of the way I would like to dress. So I'm gonna encourage myself to get rid of it so I can replace it with things that kind of more capture the style that I'm going for right now. So sometimes I do that like just as a push for me to go in the direction that I want to go. So, um, and then I have three like pajama type sets that I'm going to hang up. And so that's what that stuff is. I have some stuff here like my boys' socks somehow made it into my drawers. And then I have some socks for my girls that need to go to their proper place. So those are just some loose ends that I need to kind of tie up. I offered to clean my husband's drawers. Babe, what did you say? No, thank you. He said no thank you. He won't let me. So I, you know, I'm like, you could live this great life over here. But he wants his drawers to be busting out the seams. Y'all see all that. I'm not going to touch it. He's been telling me for years. He's going to go through it, and he has. You have gone through your drawers before, right? Yes. Okay, so. Um, these are drawers we're not going to open. <laughs> but look, guys, I have the famous YouTuber drawer folded set situation. I feel like, you know, like, it's like Marie Kondo the folding style. I feel like the clothes are supposed to go kind of like front to back, but it didn't work that way for the clothes that I have. But, oh, my God gonna last for like a whole two days and then over here I thought I was gonna hang up my t-shirts um but then I decided that I don't know if I have enough hangers right now to support that so I just went ahead and put them back in here I folded them and put them back in here you know honestly I could rotate these since they're a little bit smaller than my pants so let me rotate them so that they look official it's gonna last for a whole you know couple of days and then up there, that's some stuff that I need to put into my husband's drawers. So, you know, we're making great progress. It's only Monday. We have the whole week before us. I'm going to go back to work. And then these things that I pulled out, I will probably just put them back as part of my evening routine when I go and, like, touch up hot spots and things like that. Or if I have, like, a moment in the day, I'll just put that stuff in a trash bag and hang those couple of tops and call it a day. So that's it for my zone cleaning. I'm not going to be doing any um, weekly home blessing today, which feels a little bit weird, but we're going to go with it. We're going to try with it and see what we think about the pace. So I'll check back in with you guys later. Bye. Hello. <clears throat> Welcome back. Uh, it is after lunch. It's 1.13 and for lunch I took my kids to get their um, first vaccination and then while I was there I went ahead and got my little booster shot. So very eventful lunch break. And then you guys see all those packages back there? One, two, three, four, five, six. At least three of those are gifts that I plan to wrap myself. And then one of them was unexpected. Like we had some family who got some stuff for the girls and they weren't able to wrap it. So I need to wrap it. And then also my sons, when they got their shots, they got those cute little stuffed animals and they said they wanted to give them to their little sisters. So those need to be wrapped as well. And so come in. Okay, so yeah, what I was saying was, praise the Lord that I started wrapping early. I remember on Friday, I felt like I was celebrating. I was like, yes, my wrapping is done because my last couple of gifts weren't in yet. And it's just crazy how <clears throat> my little collection has exploded. But it's nice that like I started earlier than maybe I thought that I should have. Kept a nice slow pace so that 
this situation is not stressing me out, which it absolutely would be stressing me out if I had like, you know, a ton of gifts to wrap already and then several packages waiting at the front door that also needed to be wrapped, so. for the worst wrapping goes to these two little stuffed animals. Girl. Okay, I was tired. I was tired, okay. But, um, yeah. So I'm sure things are trickling. My husband has one more gift that he needs to buy that I've been trying to get him to buy since November, and that's just how it always goes. But um, I just felt like I could just see the finish line, and I just wanted to be done. So it's nice, like, I'll just handle stuff as it trickles in, but for the most part, it's nice to feel like mission complete, even though I know that it's not really complete, but it's cool.